Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Now, those who don't know me, I am Dr. Paramjeet. I am a consultant, physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital, Nehru Nagar, Ghaziabad, Delhi NCR. And this is my channel. Here, I make videos related to health education and I make simplified medical explanation videos for you to understand medical conditions, symptoms and treatment. So today I am going to discuss about hypoglycemia, low blood sugar in patients who do not have diabetes. I have already made a video about low blood sugar in diabetic patients which is there in my channel and a lot of various videos are there for diabetes type 2 and, and I have made a lot of myth buster videos on diabetes, a lot of misunderstandings which are going on around diabetes. But today's topic is hypoglycemia. If you do not have diabetes and still your blood sugar is low, then this video is for you. And today we will talk about the reasons why you can have low blood sugar without diabetes, what you can do to prevent it and how you can get tested, what test you should do, which type of doctor you should go to. So that all will be discussed today. So stay tuned and don't forget to like the video if you do like it. So stay connected and stay healthy. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Guys, hypoglycemia or low blood sugar can happen because of various reasons even in non-diabetic patients. For example, the most common reason for low blood sugar levels or hypoglycemia is alcohol. Yes, when you take a lot of alcohol, sometimes you tend not to eat anything with it. So if you have a lot of alcohol regularly and you don't eat with it, you can develop hypoglycemia. The second reason why in alcoholic patients hypoglycemia happens because the liver is stored with Glycogen. Glycogen is the storage form of carbohydrates, sugar, glucose. What happens? Because of the alcohol damaging the liver, now the liver because of regular alcohol intake or very high intake of alcohol, liver stops using glycogen for energy. It is not able to convert this stored glycogen into glucose and therefore the body's blood sugar level drops. So first reason is alcohol. The second most common reason for low blood sugar levels is medications. Yes, accidental ingestion of anti-diabetic medications is seen in many people, especially in children, uh, where they take anti-diabetic medications and therefore their sugar drops. Third reason is critical chronic illness. If you have a liver disease or a kidney disease, a critical or chronic liver disease, chronic kidney disease, then your sugar levels will be on the lower side or if you starve for a long time if you are not eating food for a long time because of any reason emotional or physical or because of financial reason then also your blood sugar levels will go low because after a while the body does not have any raw material to create glucose or normally the body can create glucose from proteins also from fats also but after a while it will not have left any resources. So your sugars, blood sugar levels will drop. So the fourth reason is post perandial hypoglycemia. Now this is, now this is something classic. Now what happens usually the body has a system of sensing the requirement of insulin. Insulin is the hormone which is required to take your blood sugar levels into the cells from the blood. So when you eat, the insulin is producing the amount of sugar present in the blood. So if sugar goes high, the insulin goes high. So that balance is maintained. Now what happens in some people, this balance is disrupted. So a higher amount of insulin is produced for a lower or normal amount of glucose and therefore that high insulin will take more sugar inside the cells and the blood will be left with less sugar. So your blood sugar level will get low. Now this is called post perandial hypoglycemia. In these kind of patients, low blood sugar happens typically after eating. 
which is very contrasting because normal people's sugar levels will rise after eating. <clears throat> so these kind of people will have such problems. Postprandial hypoglycemia is common in patients who have had stomach surgeries but it is not that you cannot have this without having stomach surgery. You can still have this problem. Similar problem of insulin hyperproduction can happen because of a tumor in your body especially insulinomas, insulin producing tumors or sometimes other types of cancers can also produce insulin like hormones, insulin like substance which can act like insulin and therefore reduce your blood sugar levels. Apart from this hormonal imbalance, your pituitary gland, your adrenal gland, they play a key role in your blood sugar management and production of hormones which make or store your glucose. So if there is an abnormality in the hormones, pituitary or adrenal, then also your sugar levels can go down. Now, For example, if especially in children, if there is a deficiency of growth hormone, that can lead to low blood sugar levels. All these are reasons for low blood sugar in a normal patient without diabetes. So what tests should be done for a patient with low blood sugar? Obviously, sugar levels fasting and post pp post perandial sugar levels should be done obviously glycoxylated hemoglobin hb a1c level which will show you the average blood sugar levels in the last three months should be done then liver function test kidney function test thyroid function tests should be done then sometimes hormonal levels hormone profiles are done by the endocrinologist c peptide levels insulin levels can be done right ultrasound of the abdomen can be done a lot of things can be done in a stepwise manner till we find out the reason for your problem until that time there are some things which you can do at your level to prevent hypoglycemia what are that eat regularly and small frequent meals don't eat very high carbohydrates or don't eat very low carbohydrate eat five to eight meals per day and don't keep yourself starved for a long time eat healthy and uh, exercise a little bit regularly keep a healthy diet sleep well don't take stress a lot of things you can do at your level to help cope with this hypoglycemia and the most important thing talk to your doctor get yourself evaluated so that's all for hypoglycemia and non-diabetic patients. Hope you liked the video. If you did, then, then do share this video to all your friends. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is Dr. Paranjit. Till next time, stay connected, stay healthy.